them like a cozy game but then I was like oh what if I instead did like a webcam video I might also record a cozy game as well we shall see we shall see uh, you might be able to hear my computer fan in the background of this one I do apologize but I still hope it's a it's a nice little video anyways I wanted to do mostly do a live update I also have my bigger things, um, uh, to do some triggers and stuff, so it's not just me rambling, but yeah, just a trigger assortment, I guess, also, because I know that there will at least be one person, and honestly, I love this comment every time I get my, someone mentioning the, um, system of a down, uh, album, uh, specifically when people noticed it wasn't in the background of my videos, there was specifically one person who was uh, very distraught at the fact that I removed it, which I didn't remove it, it just, I just started filming more to like the left in my room, and then I think it got covered up with a different thing that was all there, they just, they ended up getting squished together, but yeah, this, this actually isn't just like an album, it's a canvas. something low effort and also yeah I don't have any tripod right now um, so that's that's why uh, that I'm recording this and I also thought it was kind of fun look it's like it's like what's the word I'm looking for it's like it's just low budget but like cozy low budget like wholesome low budget you know what I'm talking about this is a body scrubber so you just Use it on your body to like remove dead skin as a dry brush. Um, I bought it at Shoppers Dark Mart, so that's interesting. Anyways, okay. Moth lore. What is some moth lore? What's going on in my life? I'm tired. I'm very tired. What's the reason for this tiredness? It could be a multitude of things. Perhaps it's that I haven't taken my antidepressants in the past three nights. I had them on auto refill, and they would text me when like it was rebuilt but then silly old me changed changed pharmacies because i moved and they didn't do they didn't I, I i was relying off of the the messages they would send me a text message to be like oh you have your your thing to pick it up but then then they then i didn't have that because i changed pharmacies and 
then I that missed one night. Then the next day I called my doctor and I was like, I called my doctor and I was like, hello doctor, I I need I need to do a refill my prescription, please. They said, okay, we'll do. Then I went in to get the prescription and they were like, we have no prescription here. And I went, oh, cool. So then the next day I called my doctor and they were like, mm, we definitely faxed that over, but we'll refax it. So when I called my pharmacy and I was like, okay, just to make sure, like, do you guys have it? And they said yes. So I meant to pick it up that day, but then I couldn't pick it up that day. And then I couldn't, then I forgot to pick it up the next day because my boyfriend's been like super busy. He's on that mindset grind set. No, he's not. He's just like, he was with family one day and doing other stuff another day, like drumming stuff. And, and I don't drive. Um, and it's like an hour walk, and it, which I don't really mind. I, I like walking everywhere. But tell me why it's snowing outside right now. I live in Canada, okay? And it's snowing. So anyways, I haven't taken my medication. Is that why I'm tired? Who knows? Could it be the fact that I've been working very long hours recently? Probably. Yeah, that's probably why I'm so tired. I got a job doing data annotation. If you don't know what that is, it's basically I'm helping AI improve. Very unethical. I don't like AI, but I need money. And I've been trying to get a job for a very long time and absolutely no luck. So, I got that one and I was like, okay, well, this is what I'm doing now. It, you set your own hours and stuff. It's more like freelance work. But I, 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 <laughs> I haven't even done that much. But I made like $250. You get paid like $20 an hour. And, um. I like these scissors. These scissors, they're, they're for men. Yeah, it says Revlon Men's Series Stainless Steel. I don't really care though. I still enjoy using them. I use them for my eyebrows sometimes and I enjoy using them in videos because I like the snip. It's not like, okay, these scissors, these scissors, they have like, they're they're hair cutting scissors. I cut my own hair. I honestly probably should be cutting my hair soon. Cut a little bit of it. Okay. Um. I really don't care. I think my hair looks okay. What do you think? Do you think it looks like I cut it myself? I don't, know, I don't love the sound of these. I don't know why I did it for so long. Ooh. Do a little mic brushing this brush hello babe you're like there that looks good a bit it's cool because I can't hear it but you can um, what was I talking about oh yeah so I I I've been doing day annotation and then I got a commission which I'm so grateful for shout out to you commissioner that's helped me so much, like the extra money, and I'm loving doing the commission, it's so much fun. If you, if you want me to draw you something, check out my Instagram, I, I do pretty cool art. I can draw you anything, I can draw you, I can draw your best friend, I can draw your favorite character, whatever you want, I'll do it for you. Check out my Ko-Fi, link in the description. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also, I streamed on Twitch, pretty freaking cool. If you want to watch me ever, because I, I hope to stream more, if you want to watch me ever, um, on Twitch, live, follow me on Twitch, link will also be in the description. I never streamed ever in my life, I didn't know what I was doing, it was a last minute decision, my friend was streaming and I was like, what if I streamed? And they were like, you should, and I was like, okay. So yeah, today I, I don't have a lot to do, I just want to work on the commission, film this, I want to film another video, um, uh, because I'm not sure, I don't know if this video is going to do very well, or my next video, because it's going to be a cozy gaming video, and, and I know that most people don't love those videos, they aren't their favorites, they, they prefer a roleplay, totally fair, um, but yeah, I might film a horror game, that'd be kind of fun, for Halloween, um, I'm also going to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie tonight. 
I know, Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm super excited. And what else do I have to do today? My friend is calling me in a few hours. We're going to FaceTime. Very excited for that. And um, I'm also going to be in VC with some of my friends on Discord. We're going to be gaming for a little bit. And then I have four. My boyfriend's going to come home in the past few days. I have between me working just a lot. And to be fair, I'm going to finish my first sentence and then I'm going to move on to that one. But yeah, between me working, between my boyfriend working and everything, we haven't been able to spend like any time together. It's very sad. Um, so I would like to spend a nice evening with him and then the FNAF movie is at 10 p.m., which is very late, past my bedtime. But yeah. My next thing is, I think that I should note, my work is not that hard. I'm not a brain surgeon. I'm not a nurse. I, I don't even work in retail, which, let's be honest, I worked in retail for that 10 million times worse. I mean, that's why I do what I do. I'm, I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it, because it isn't as draining as other careers. But it's also a lot less stable. It's kind of scary. And I, I'm mentally ill and autistic, and working is hard. Working is really hard. Any job, um, and the, the, the jobs that I'm doing right now is e the easiest, but it also is really scary because I'm like, am I going to have enough money for rent and food? And Tigger, who's behind me right now, I don't you can you can't see him sadly, but uh, he was a surprise. We, I wasn't like I was not planning on getting a cat. He's my childhood cat. I've had him for ten years, not me personally, but my parents. Um, but yeah, he's ten years old. We got him when he was a kitten, and parents couldn't take care of him, so they went to my brother's. But then my brother's it was only supposed to be temporary, and then my parents were supposed to take him back, but and they didn't, and. My dad was like, oh, well, I'll help pay for Tigger, like, I'll, I'll, because it's a $50 pet fee every month where I live. You can't just have a pet, you have to, like, pay extra money, Ooh, you know, because that's how landlords are. But, there's that, and then litter, and cat food, and, and when I do something, like, I don't, I never like to have acid, I never, I always want to put my best foot forward. I wanted to feed Digger the best diet he could have. I wanted to give him a good life just because I'm poor. Like, I would rather eat rice and... and I'm looking at myself and not at the camera, I'm sorry, but I'd rather eat rice and peas and be able to afford Digger nice food um, than, than the opposite, I guess. So anyways, let me try and find something else I got going on. Let's see. Ooh, I got this box. Oh, my thing is gonna fall. This is a little poor scrubby I got from my sister, silicone, but yeah, I just, I always want to put my best foot forward, and I just, I was really relying on my dad being able to help me, but I should have seen it coming. He was like, oh, actually, I thought I said $15. I thought I agreed to paying you $15 a month, and I was like, that's not gonna, that doesn't even, barely puts a dent into the pet bill each month, let alone his litter, his food, and everything else that he needs. I'm, I want to give him the best life I can, but I just, I have so little money. <laughs> but I haven't, like, and I'm, I don't want to make this, like, first of all, to, like, for anyone's, I just dropped it, for anyone's pity, I don't want to make this to, like, um, because pity feels like a really dumb word, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying this to be like, oh, like, look at me, I'm so sad, my life is so hard. I'm not making this to be like, give me money, I'm not, I'm not saying any of this to, I don't know, for any other reason, like, I'm just saying it, I don't know, I just think like, it's nice to be honest and open and, um, and it's, it's hard for everyone, like, inflation right now is insane and groceries are hard for anyone. It's, it's just scary, and like, 
I have family and I've got my boyfriend and like I'm not gonna end up homeless at least not next month um, but I'm not gonna end up homeless I'm not like I'm okay and also I've survived worse um, like I've been through I would say poverty um, and I've gone without food gone without shampoo, you know, toothpaste, toothbrushes, like, I've gone without basic necessities, so, like, I know I am, I'm not gonna, like, wither away tomorrow. I'm also very privileged. Like, I am so, so grateful for the life I have, for the people I have in my life, for, um, the security and everything. Like, I, I'm, I love my life, but I don't know. I just, I wanted, I wanted to be more honest and kind of just open and share what's going on and and yeah I think this community is really cool not just really cool I, it, it's amazing I mean you guys are funnier than I am and I the fact I get to make content and make money from it is absolutely insane to me so yeah but I don't think I wanted to briefly talk about those things, and then I felt like I ran into a, a giant rant, a giant rumble of like, oh dear, I don't even know, but things are good. I'm I'm definitely happier than I've ever been in my entire life, um, and yeah, uh, I'm excited for the future, and I like making content. I want to make more content. I want to make different content. I want to grow things and do things um if you want to follow me on my second youtube channel i want to i do want to post more on there and you can um subscribe me on there i have an instagram an art instagram i have an art tiktok i have a personal tiktok which is moth down with three ends my art tiktok is moth down with one What is it called? ASMR. I have an ASMR TikTok. That's, I think, Moth Down ASMR. I normally go by Moth Down online when I first made this channel, though. I didn't want anyone finding out it was me. I was very scared of that. And then, so I named it Moth ASMR. Now everyone in my life knows about it. Everyone's actually really cool about it. I've never... I mean, actually not everyone in my life, but like... Everyone that does know is really cool about it, and yeah, I think it's cool. I'm very happy. Um, but yeah, I don't really go by Moth Town online, so my online friends call me Moth and stuff like that. I really like this. I think it sounds cool. I wonder if I rubbed it on the mic. Would that sound terrible? Who knows? some moth lore that I could share. In the original days of my YouTube channel, my ASMR channel, it was a gaming channel. Then I started doing role plays, and I thought they were really fun, so I started doing more role plays. Then my spooky scary skeletons face diving video blew up. I got a hundred thousand views, and I bought a blue yeti, my blue yeti, which I love, and that was two hundred dollars. I do love making cozy videos, but I just know that it doesn't reach as many people, like, 
because my audience is mostly here for the role plays, that that's the, what the algorithm is gonna show, not my cozy videos, but totally fine. I'm still gonna make them anyways, because I like to. But I do hope to make more gaming content on my other channel and on my Twitch, because I like to game. I like cozy games. I love Stardew Valley. I love Animal Crossing. I love Legend of Zelda. I love, I love Webkins. I love Lego of the Rings. Right now I'm playing The Walking Dead, the Telltale games. Oh, how cool is that? This has my fake eyelashes in it. But yeah. Uh, all time to now. I got a lot of things. I, I got this desk recently. Um, I have all my ambient light out right now to like try and make me light up because I look, I look like I'm dark and spooky. This is a little wood stand. You want to know something I have? Let me show you. I'm gonna remove that. If anyone wants to take a gamble at that was. This is a mug I found at the thrift store. It's almost too ugly. Like, it's genuinely horrifying. I'm scared of it every time I look at it. This brush is very expensive. It's a watercolor brush. It's a silver black velvet. Very high quality. I've had this brush for years. I love this brush. which are like little sticky note things, little tabs. They work terribly. Don't work them out. I've got fluorite, which I love. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. This is a fire fire okay. Like super pretty. It's a palm stone. Super nice. And it kinda like fits. If you want to know more about what I read, go check out I have two videos on my channel about what I read in a month and videos that I want to read and stuff, so go check those out and let me know in the comments if you want more videos on what I read. I would love to do more videos. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I also have this dinosaur that needs to go back to where it belongs. I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. to say or I don't know what's a moth lore what's some what what am, who am I that is the question who am I I've been drawing Kirby if you want to see, it's a little Kirby he's sleeping and he's got a witch hat on if you want to check that out maybe it'll be posted on my Instagram uh, by the time this video goes up go go look at my Instagram and yeah and if you're thinking wow you did a really good job at that Kirby I want my own Kirby be mine, then, then you should commission me. <laughs> um, yeah, my copa is blue. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of Kirby's, they're all up there in a basket with my gaming stuff, and I don't particularly want to go and get it. I keep doing that, like the chat face. So like, okay, I'm really bad at. I think I did a good job. Do you think that was good? Thank you. Um, I can't think of anything else to say or to do. Maybe I should clean up because I made a mess. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, let me know how you guys are. Let me know some lore about yourself. I'd love to hear it. I love reading every comment. I get a lot more comments these days, and I've been doing a lot more like, I, I, I have been trying to like, be productive and, you know, anyways. But what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that I haven't been able to respond to every single comment recently. But like I do, I normally sit down like when I'm watching a movie and I'll just go through all the comments. Or if I'm like in the car or something like that, like I'll just whoosh, power through and comment everything back. But I love reading comments. I love them. I normally am like keeping up to date and I'm reading the comments. I just don't always respond. Unless the comment is particularly amazing and I just think it's hilarious and I have to respond to it. And I think of a response because sometimes I just spend a long time. I'm like, what do I say? I want it to sound genuine, and then I'm always scared, like, what if my tone of voice doesn't go through? What do people think I mean? I'm scared of that. I'm trying to be nice, I, I, I promise. Um, sometimes I'm not good at, like, matching what I'm saying into the words, and it's a mess, but, yeah. Um, I guess I could have done more ear-to-ear -ear in this video. I really didn't. I love how, like, pixely I am, and, like, grainy. Um, okay, well, I do love you all, I hope you enjoyed this video, I think you're super super cool, thank you for being here and supporting me, do you like my shirt? It says Team Dad, and um, yeah.